This place is unreal. It's abandoned, it's big, it's dangerous, and it's a challenge. No jobs, no jobs again. Nothing look around you. No jobs, nothing. Everything is on lock. Some people might think that Detroit is a dangerous city, that it's corrupt and stuff like that. But that's from the outside looking in. It takes a lot if you're going to stay in the city. If you stay in the city, you know, you feel a different vibe. You know, it's a lot of opportunities and it's a lot of blessings coming in the city of Detroit. As unfortunate as it is that this place has been abandoned by so many people, I'm just here because I see incredible potential in the city. Yo, yo, I dedicate this one to the hometown, baby. Thank you. Thank you. We're getting ready to let our hair down. Yo, peace to the home scene. My peoples do their own thing. They letting more than a phone ring. We put the world on wheels. The Motor City, baby, the big three. Original shit, they bit the whole thing. Gold rings, party frames, ice chains, all of that. Chris Bear wants the fourth letter on the ball caps. Yeah, I'm talking that realest on the map shit. I'm from Detroit, so the raps fit. I'm from where you gotta earn as far as the block's concerned. The rubber they burn in Cadillac whips. Been through more shit than catfish. Home of the Amazon, big body black shit. Detroit, yeah, the city's got a wild rep. That explains why over 700,000 left. But the industry tends to follow the trends. The same motherfuckers from the mile set. Yes. Detroit. Yeah. Yo, cold winners, hot summers, murders in high numbers, enemies tuck tails and hide from us. One love to the glove is Michigan pride, where they choose to flip a pie to get them a ride. Cause he can't survive on nickels and dimes, so a lot picking sides sticking to crime. Pulling homicides off liquor and lines. Till the crooked swine put clips in your mind. All the while they getting them blind. Ice brightless, chilling the time. Hustlers, but quick to turn gangsters whenever motherfuckers just give them a sign. I earned stripes and got my scars. Some wonder honestly how I got so far. I'm like, damn, how could you not go hard? The top is ours. And I'm driven for mine. Listen. No matter where I go, I take the career with me, man, Detroit. Normally when you're hitting urban, the only person who's putting their life at risk is the skier. But in Detroit, everyone involved is putting themselves in harm's way. You have danger in every city you go into. Part of it is what's your motivation of going in and if you're too idealistic to realize that you're in a dangerous situation. First thing in the morning when we showed up, it was made known that we were not welcome there. So there's this guy coming up. Some dude is super sketchy and seems cracked out of his mind. Do you want me to hang out here for a little bit? I kind of like the idea of like you just got to keep you in. That card. You hanging out here with someone else so you can get an idea of what's going on if he comes back and we're not around. And we'll get a fucking truckload of snow. Come on. Uh, it is still happening. When we were pulling out of the parking lot at that hospital, another truck showed up. Guys in the back with ski masks eyeing us down. And that's when we knew we had crossed into the wrong territory. At that point, our whole crew was on the verge of calling it a trip. But rather than packing up and heading home, 
We figured we'd at least explore some of Detroit's suburbs and try to get a little more skiing in. Skiing in January will make you cold. Nothing's better than an abandoned school because you can come here and jib on a school day. Even though we knew the dangers were still there, we all decided that we needed to get back in the city and get back in these buildings and give it another shot. Knowing that there was still so much to this city that we had yet to explore, I don't think anyone in the crew was ready to leave this place. To 
be somewhere that's as hostile as this place and to leave feeling accomplished was just incredible. Detroit never represented the trip of a lifetime to me. It represented an opportunity for us to test our will and test our determination.